Einen wunderschönen Willkommen zum heutigen Abend. Nein, ist doch kein Hund ausgebrochen. Sehr gut. Willkommen zu einer weiteren Runde Star Trek Resurgence. Wir haben sie beim letzten Mal gefangen, ihr alle. What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. It's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're das hatte ich gesagt. Army. These prisoners could be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takai could show up any minute. Crystals. They're all over this place. Genau. Sind die nicht überall? Gucken wir mal. Where's the captain? Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. Kann die nicht einfach die Tür zumachen? Da kommt doch so schnell keiner durch. So, was haben wir denn hier? Aha. Anomalie erfasst. Engines are redlined. Running at full power. But... This main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. That much reactor output would drive us past the theoretical top speed of this ship. So how fast are we actually going? This console looks unaffected. Jetzt nichts. Dann gehen wir mal hier runter. These crystals are Tacon Technology. They seem to be active. Just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Tacon Technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. I thought you had the access codes needed to take control back. I should, but I can't actually get to the surface. So I can't enter them here. Maybe there's somewhere else I can try. Dann probier was halt woanders. Da oben ist auch noch eine Konsole, da gehen wir zuerst hin. Das sind auch weiße Leute und Dinge zum Andrücken. Können wir das scannen hier? Nee. Ach, das war ja die Waffe, genau. Careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this would work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? I'm not sure. We're gonna be there in less than an hour. You can't let that happen. Hold on, it would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. Even with the engines pushed as hard as they are, they wouldn't produce this speed. Whether it's these crystals, or the power from the Cartabula, the Takana have found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is, if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. But somehow, 
That hasn't happened yet. We do our part, and just worry about that. I don't know what more they have to their plan. People like this are never satisfied. There's always more that they want. And they are obviously going... somewhere. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. Ein riesengroßer Laser. So. Habe ich das jetzt normal angeklickt? Nee, nur gescannt, ne? Look here. It's navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. Toll. Ähm. Erzähl mir mal was. Ich leg dich mal ab wegen der Wachen. Everything under control? Yes, we used to Khan haven't made a move yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. Bleib mal da drüben gucken. So, jetzt haben wir hier. Können wir die hier. Die sehen aber ganz normal aus. Da ist so eine Konsole. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. Oops. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. Genetisch. Weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armita. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Ah! Oh. The Titan's Will. communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. At the risk of stating the obvious, wouldn't changing the algorithms solve the problem? Yeah, I wish it was that simple. Unfortunately, it's an encrypted code that would take weeks to change, if not longer. I have Captain Riker for you. Captain? Let's not mention any of this shield business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Statt Commander. Captain Riker, this is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle 
to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residius 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. Uh, I'm curious to hear what she says, though. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. Ja, toll. Finden Sie es heraus. In some cases, <laughs> it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive. Or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 6-3. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 6-3 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. Are you sure about that? I don't want to anger him. No, you certainly do not. With a wave of his hand, he could clip your wings and cripple the Resolute. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools. And he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. So I'd expect the same when you get there. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these Takan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division and Starfleet Tactical, devising new ways to take on the Borg. Trust me. This isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. Were you equipped to meet Portal 63 all those years ago? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. And we have the benefit of your experience on our side. Fair enough. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. Face I was hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Thank you for your support, Captain Riker. I wish I could be there myself. But my first officer would probably see to it that I stay on the bridge while they get all the excitement on the away mission. The burdens of command. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that Takan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? Sorry. We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. Which is why I'm asking. Es tut mir leid. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithms? 
That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 6-3 and find those to con before this gets out of control. Riker out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. Riker's ship is at risk. They all are. I can't believe you would want to keep that from him. That's one more thing I'll have to answer for. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. Hey, set sie gleich ab. Oh. Hey. It's the automated Federation warning buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker Stand provided. 66? Ich glaube ja, ne? Der Code war 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Commander Ermott, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Peter, dear. Prep your way, team. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. Ach, He's not an asset. He's an enemy. So be ready for anything. Prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. <sighs> but a new age dawns today. Are you the scion of the flame? My name is Zan Udlosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Mukta. We are all scions of the flame. Every one of us who have traveled across the bridge of time to be here for the Great Awakening. We have all sworn ourselves to the cause. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this. Should billiger zuschauen. When we wake the Aphelion. We won't need a fleet. The Aphelion. Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. And when you wake the Aphelion, what are you going to do with it? Anything we want. Come on. This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> He's coming alive. He can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Not if they're just going to start it again. So you believe him? I'm not sure. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle will ensue. All died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good, and he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We hurt him, 
Es war zwischendurch Commander, deswegen war ich verwirrt, weißt du? Das ist gegen das Protokoll der Starfleet. Du bist nicht auf dem Protokoll. Dein Protokoll ist nicht Wir nehmen die Aktion, die uns zu unserer Victory führen wird. Nicht dass dein moralischer Code die Präsidenz über alle anderen nimmt. Ich werde sie nicht töten. Nicht so wie das. There's got to be something we can work with here. Vielleicht wenn wir mal den Maschinenroboter suchen. This area here? Power generation. The warp cores. It's deserted. Going this fast, it would be too dangerous to force a warp collapse by cracking one of the propulsion coils. That could rupture the hull. End up damaging the cartabula in the process. And that risks tearing a hole in space. We can't have that. Nee, das geht nicht, das ist klar. Wir, wir gucken mal, ich glaube, das ist unten links. Nee, äh, das war vorhin, äh, stand eben halt, äh, Commander Riker ist äh, äh, jetzt anwesend. Nee, war es der Untertitel? Ich bin mir jetzt nicht sicher. Es stand jedenfalls Commander da. Äh, wahrscheinlich war es ein Untertitelproblem, ähm, weswegen ich da äh, hingekommen bin. Müsste, müsste man die alten Aufzeichnungen unter den Stream nachgucken. Also bei der einen Geschichte stand definitiv Commander Riker in den Untertiteln. Und habe mich dann gewundert, als dann Captain Riker da war. Oder auch wieder ne? Also gewundert habe ich mich so oder so, aber woher das kam? Engine Status. Right. The Warp Cores are still practically redlined. However they've supercharged the Zeldi, it still relies on existing systems. They just amplify the output? But the Takan have already interfaced with those systems. The controls will be no use. So we'd have to find a way to manually shut down the warp cores. Might not be a manual shutdown as much as it'll be sabotage. No one appears to be guarding it. I think I can get us there. But once we're in, do you really think you can cripple my ship? Not something I normally ask, but I'm coming around to it. Well, usually I'm the guy fixing the things that go wrong on a starship. But I'm sure I could figure glaub, out a way. Da sich was an. You may even find you like destroying things. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here, now. This is how we do the most good for the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Millie's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. I know you're here, Carter. Your technology is so simple to us. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, We had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. And a part of you would remain to experience the things I can show you. But if you try to fight it... You don't know what you're doing. Miranda, we can help you, but you have to fight. Miranda is a part of us now. She's accepted that. You're lying. I have no reason to lie. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. Well, what's this plan you have? Is it the one where you steal our bodies and erase our minds? That's a simplistic view of it. Your memories would live on within us. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge very soon. Our combat just 
She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. But I'm trying to help you. Was? Ach, hör mal auf. Das hat jetzt irgendwie die Gefühle verletzt, oder? Ähm Miranda war gerührt, als Carter anbot, ihrem Kampf gegen den Tarkons zu helfen. Äh, dies wurde allerdings wieder zu nicht gemacht, als sie sich... Äh, äh, Ach, die kommen. Warte mal. Ich dachte, ich hätte eine Wahl. <lacht> Got it. Mine's done too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. <lacht> Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. We've managed this far without doing it your way. We are hardly in control of this situation. And now we have loose ends. Solve the problem of what to do with him. Now let's move him. Also, ich fand's jetzt ein bisschen doof, äh, zum man vorher nicht gesehen hat, äh man muss wirklich jedes Mal gleich äh, umschalten und gucken, was man für eine Aktion ausgelöst hat. Ne? Hätten wir sie doch noch rumkriegen können? Naja, okay. Der letzte Wächter. Ui, 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 ui. Das kommt mir bekannt vor. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's. Quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Finde. Alter, war was. Nee. Already gave it a scan. Dead. Toy. Whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. Oh yeah. Burn marks. The report mentioned phaser fire being redirected toward these strange crystals. It also mentioned portal calling down lightning bolts. Better keep our guards up. If I recall right. Jordy LaForge transported in here, hanging upside down. I guess we're lucky we were spared the indignity. Noch. These crystals are dormant. Riker's report said they were glowing, that they served as energy collectors. It could be a good sign they're inactive. The guardian of the Takan doesn't have his guard up. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those Deridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. Ich gehe mal über die Brücke. <coughs> This is where Portal 63 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. 
That has to mean something. You shall not pass. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Ja, ich bin noch nicht fertig. Ähm, ich guck mal noch mal. Guck mal, mit ihm kann man doch reden. Anything unusual, Commander? It's all unusual, to be honest. We have precious little data on this planet, so brief was Captain Riker's visit. Anything he didn't see himself is a total unknown. We deal with unknowns all the time. Part of the job. I'm accustomed to dealing with the unknown from my station on the bridge. Tja, keiner da. Kann man wieder gehen, ne? Ja? 